This couldn't have been Chris Brown. The meme about if um, did you suck his dick was a person. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put a bunch of them bitches right here just flashing rapid fire right there. Shit so damn funny. Let me hit it, no strings like a Bluetooth. Nigga got an old swag like a fubu. I be running to the bank, I boo cool. All right, let's get it. It's Kush Baby. I'm back. Jamaica Kush Baby, really. I'm supposed to put that whole shit on there. I don't be, I don't be remembering to put the whole shit on there. Nigga don't even get his rap name right. But we back. We ain't here to pod. And you know we had to talk about this one. I'm back. I've been potting with my boys. You know what I'm saying? No face, no case, God cast. I want you to go over there and look at that because them boys, them boys is doing something. It's real official. I'm finna be back on there soon. I took a little break because I started back working. And boy, that schedule been kicking my ass. I ain't gonna cap to you. But we back and we got some shit to talk about today. The episode is called City Girls Up 10 Points. I ain't even gonna cap to you. I gotta go ahead and talk every time the music playing so I don't get copyright, like copyright infringement on YouTube, but just know we finna talk today. <laughs> we finna talk about it, cause I was talking about, I seen, the, I seen the little meme, the little meme with Jada. I said the little meme, I'm talking about all the little memes. I seen all of them. All of them been going ham, and she ain't even been playing with bro. I seen the little red table talk too, I don't, you know what, I don't even want to, I'm not finna start with that. I'm letting you know, we finna talk about that bullshit ass shit in a second, cause that shit had me damn near triggered. But I ain't gonna talk about it right now, just a second. Let me, let me go ahead and try to figure out. This is a thing. <laughs> yeah, I had to go find that gunshot, cause I'm gonna be letting off a couple of these. I ain't gonna cap. Jada was Jada was kind of she was kind of getting into her little bag, her toxic bag on that motherfucker. So I'm, I'm gonna get into that. Um, I got a couple more shits too. That's the main shit. I'm not gonna lie. That's my main meat and potatoes. That's what made me fit. That's what made me say fuck that. I'm finna go ahead and I'm gonna start podding again. I'm not even used to using the mic, so I be looking down and shit, and I can hear when that shit sound crazy as hell. But all right, fuck it. I got me a little little blood rolled up. <laughs> Little blunt rolled up, and I'm ready to get into it. So before I even talk about goddamn Jada and everything Jada and Will been having going on, that kind of bullshit. Cause my girl damn near been telling me that they, they had some um some like a girl been telling me that they I gotta even look at the camera. Y'all you know I ain't used to being back. I ain't even looking at the camera. Shit. I don't they got to be a little, a little lighting set up so my shit can look a little bit more professional. But yeah, first thing I'm gonna talk about is this goddamn, this goddamn DJ Academic shit. <coughs> Man, I don't even wanna pull my shit up. I gotta get the um, little OBS shit so I can kind of show y'all my screen while I'm doing this. But fuck it. DJ Academics then got goddamn kicked off for everyday struggle. Not really kicked off, he suspended. And that shit interesting to me. You know what I'm saying? That shit real interesting. Cause I've been watching, bro. I've been peeping, bro. You feel me? And to me, it looked like he been trying to learn everything from goddamn 6ix9ine. You ain't been seeing that? It looked like he been trying to goddamn do exactly what 6ix9ine been doing, just instead of with the mute with the music, he doing that shit on that podcast of vlogging type tip. <coughs> <coughs> Ever since him and Jit linked back up, you know he been up under Jit nutsack heavy. He been up under 6ix9ine nutsack heavy. But ever since him and Brett linked up, you know what I'm saying? And I'm throwing shots too. But ever since him and Brett linked up, them boys, them boys been goddamn resembling each other. You know what I'm saying? Like this nigga trying to beef with motherfuckers. He trying to goddamn start little shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the Freddie Gibbs shit. You feel me? Even though, even though, let me pause you. So all right, if you don't know nothing about what the DJ Academic shit is about, it's a rapper named Freddie Gibbs. I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna put some shit probably right here or right here. I don't know which side of the screen I'm gonna put it on yet, but I'm gonna put some videos of Freddie Gibbs so you can see, bro, because most of y'all probably don't even know who the fuck bro is. But he a rapper, he dope. He just dropped the project, um, Alfredo. That shit is hard, you know what I'm saying? You need to go look at that. But um, if you don't like like bars and heavy spitting, you probably ain't gonna like it though. But anyways, that nigga had done, matter of fact, run applause for that shit. But um, he had said some shit where he said, cause him and Jeezy got beef, cause he was signed to Jeezy. So this nigga said some shit where he was like, young Jeezy irrelevant as fuck. And, and yeah, a motherfucker not really listening to young Jeezy like that. But I'm, I damn near agree with Act, bro. Like, Jeezy so that he so goddamn solidified that I don't even feel like somebody like Freddie Gibbs should even be speaking on, bro. Like speaking on some shit like, bro, goddamn washed up or he cold or he ain't relevant. Cause nigga, compared to bro, what Act said is true, bro. Compared to bro, you you dumb, you dumb irrelevant. I don't give a fuck how how cold Jeezy get. I don't give a fuck how many albums he don't drop. Nigga, if Jeezy pull up to anybody's city, nigga, he pulling out way more motherfuckers than you pulling out. That's just, that's just facts. But anyways, X said that. X said that shit. So the nigga went on fucking Twitter and he was like, boom, I'll pay any bad bitch $5,000 right now if they could tell me that they had sex with academics. <laughs> And you know, academics kind of lame. I'm gonna put some video of bro right here. He kind of lame. I fought with bro though. I ain't no cap. I fought with bro. But he kind of lame though. He kind of lame. So, bro got triggered. He in his feelings now. You feel me? So, dumb boys going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Make a long story less long. Act went on his little um, stream. Kind of like how I be doing, but he be streaming. He be having dumb motherfuckers on that shit. He went on there and went on a crazy ass rant. Nigga like he was on dope. Just going dumb, damn near foaming at the mouth like a pit bull or some shit, you feel me? Talking gangster shit too down there. But while he was doing that, he had done, said some shit about um, fucking John Legend and John Legend wife and shit and he got suspended. Boom. Damn, now I see why them boys be having them videos for so long. I gotta explain so much shit just to explain some shit. But anyways, so I right, boom. Academic suspended. But in him being suspended, all I'm seeing is a bunch of motherfuckers talk about, bro. Like, think about it. Even right now, I'm talking about, bro. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't need, and everybody talking about, bro, on some shit like, damn, act lame as fuck, da 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 da. All this other shit. But it's like, y'all don't even realize that by talking about, bro, so much, we making, bro, even more popping than he was before any of this shit. I promise you, he gonna walk away from this shit 10 times more popular. This motherfuckers who ain't gonna know who the fuck academics was before that know about him now. Matter of fact, I'm putting you up on him. You see what I'm saying? Like, that nigga played the 6 9 He played the 6 9 role, like. <laughs> to the T. And them motherfuckers just, just, I don't know. I've been watching them, bro. And them motherfuckers just fell for it. Cause they, they still be talking about, bro, to this day. Right now, if you go on some shit, they is talking about, bro. And that shit wild me. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let me go ahead and make sure that my volumes is right too, cause this shit sounding, this shit sounding crazy. All right, I'm gonna try to do something in post to make this shit line up. It's the first time I've been using the mic. Usually I just use the mic that's on the camera. So I don't know how this shit gonna sound. I'm experimenting right now and I need to get some damn weed after this shit too. So that's some bullshit. But yeah. And then while I'm talking about podcaster beef, I gotta jump you right into the goddamn Joe Budden Vlad beef. You feel me? I ain't even mean to hit the applause that time, but I'ma hit the applause because Adam22 doing his shit. No jumper, he the one who got the interview. He doing his shit. I ain't gonna lie. But Shouts out to me with the merch too. I be seeing um, a nigga on No Jumper, he be always plugging his little t-shirts and shit. So I feel good that I got some t-shirts to plug. Um, 
They ain't for sale no shit, cause I was just trying to see how to make them bitches, so I just figured out how to damn near do this shit, but as soon as I get the designs right the way I want them, they gonna be for sale. That was my little commercial. Anyways, back to Vlad and goddamn Joe Button. So, I've been peeped that it's some kind of, it was some kind of energy between Vlad and Joe, by the way he be talking about that nigga, but you know, everybody be sizing Vlad, cause everybody say he a goddamn, he the police, he the feds, all that shit. So I ain't paying no mind. But then I seen a little a little shit with Vlad. I've been seeing it on my suggestion, on uh, my suggested videos talking about Vlad doing an interview with No Jumper. But I never really wanted to look at it because I don't know, like I don't know. I don't want to see Vlad talk. I want to see Vlad interview motherfuckers. But I don't. I like him behind the camera. It's a reason why he be behind the camera. But anyways, I saw a clip when it said he talks about his beef with Joe Budden. So I'm listening to it, and the man basically said. <laughs> Hey, the man basically said Joe Budden um, has seen him. They get they got so much beef because of some old shit. I ain't gonna tell you the backstory because that's too much. But they got beef because of some old shit. But he said one time um, he tried to apologize to Joe through academics, and Joe Budden basically was like, "Nah, fuck that shit, nigga. See me when you see me, nigga. It's up there. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying?" I don't even, I don't even got my shit labeled, so I don't know what the fuck sounds these is. I'm just playing the bitches. That's how you know I'm just not really starting off back. I don't even know what the fuck my soundboard doing. I was trying to find out. You feel me? So he told that nigga, yeah, nigga, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm on that. It's the same energy that I've been had whenever you see me as that. But then Vlad said he saw him at the strip club and he had a nigga with him that everybody know be, be murking niggas. He had the shooter, basically. Um. Nah, matter of fact, that ain't the shooter. The nigga be killing niggas with his bare hands. That's what Vlad said. So he say that both them niggas seen Vlad, um, seen Joe outside the club, and Joe was pussy, and he didn't wanna, he didn't wanna come outside the car. He was just in the car looking shook, like damn. So I heard that, and I was like, I was like, damn. You know what? Damn. Hold on, I know I got a sound effect in here somewhere for some. This is a dangerous group. Groups that we're dealing with. There we go. You see what I'm saying? They said this shit ain't professional. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah though. So he said he had done um He said he had done spook Joe. And Joe seen him and Joe ain't wanna do nothing. Joe ain't had no energy like that. Joe wasn't on shit that Joe we talking about. I seen that. I fuck with Joe Button Podcast heavy, so I was waiting patiently to see what Joe say. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. The way Joe talked about it, bro, it made me feel like that nigga Vlad also trying to do some reaching shit. Cause he know that that's gonna get clicks, that's gonna get views. We gonna talk about it like I'm doing right now. And man, Joe just said, man, basically, nigga, the way you move, you move funny as fuck. I don't fuck with you. You feel me? So we ain't really got no beef. You just a fuck nigga to me. You feel me? He said, you just a fuck nigga to me. And I was like, damn, that's kind of, that's kind of crazy. We ain't doing hell. Let me, let, me, let me throw a horn for that, cause my nigga Joe snapped. I ain't gonna count, my nigga Joe snapped. <laughs> that nigga said, basically me and you the same, not the same type of nigga. We don't do the same thing, so don't try to compare us. You know what I'm saying? And I had like that, so that's just that for that. I had to just shout that out, cause Vlad be trying to, be trying to make it sound like he be doing something. I got all my notes right here on the tripod. I'm trying to be professional with it. I don't know why I told y'all that. I shouldn't have told y'all, but I got my notes right there. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking down at, my little points that I, that I already got. But then, but then I'ma swing you into goddamn Jada Pinkett and goddamn <laughs> Will Smith. <laughs> oh shit. It's gotta be the story of the hour story of the week, the story of whatever. I done seen so many memes. I done seen so many memes. I'm just pressing shit now because that shit sounds good in the background while I'm getting up to my phone. I done seen so many memes. Man, I'm gonna pause one more time when we bring this in. I done seen so many memes, bruh. The meme about goddamn, this couldn't have been Chris Brown. The meme about if um, did you suck his dick was a person. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put a bunch of them bitches right here just flashing rapid fire right there. Shit so damn funny. 
So, the whole time with this whole August shit, all I've been thinking is, nigga, what the fuck Will finna say? You know what I'm saying? What is Will finna say? There we go. That's the one I want to play. I'm gonna just keep hitting that one in the background. Just real softly. I want you to hear that heartbeat. What the fuck is Will doing? You feel me? That's all I've been thinking. What is Will gonna say? What is he gonna say about this bullshit that's been going on? You feel me? Damn, I gotta light the blunt back. But yeah, that's all I've been wondering. What is Will gonna say about this shit? Cause it was some bullshit. Nigga August, I'm talking about it been had came out. You know, it been came out. And my girl, she real heavy on that shade room shit. Like she be she be looking at all that shit. I tell her she need to damn that start one. But she be heavy on that shit. So when she hit me to it the first time, you see how it's going in and out? Cause I be going off the mic like that. Like they be telling them niggas when they come for an interview, speak to the mic. My dumb ass not even speaking to the mic and I do this shit. But anyways, so my girl been hipping me to it. And the whole time, all I'm saying is, yo, what the fuck Will finna say? You know what I'm talking about? What is Will finna say about this shit? You feel me? Cause this shit ain't looking good. Then your boy August talk. He go up there and he talk with Angela Yee. And the nigga got down, he don't even just spill the tea. The nigga knocked the whole cup. The nigga drop kicked the cup. <laughs> Man, give Angela a round of applause. Cause she did her motherfucking thing. She told that nigga, she told that nigga some old, <laughs> some old goddamn tongue-tied ass. Yeah, yeah, this and you did this and we all just want to know and we've, you've been saying some stuff and da, 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 basically, nigga, do you fuck her? And that nigga just walked right up into that shit like, well, shit, since you asking, since you ask, hell yeah, I was piping that down. You feel me? And I told you I'm a fan of Joe Budden Podcast and I don't know, just listen to how they talk about it. I'm feeling some of the aspects. But man, this shit sounded to me like a mixture of August was old, groupy ass nigga. Goddamn, Jada is a goddamn pimp ass motherfucker. She definitely future. That future meme, that, that shit definitely hit different. That shit hit different. But she definitely future. <laughs> it will, it's definitely a cuckold. I don't know if a lot of y'all know what a cuckold is, but Will is definitely a fucking cuckold, bro. He a cuckold, bro. But we're not gonna sit here, bro. We're not gonna sit here and act like you ain't never seen that cuckold shit on the porn. And you've been like, damn, what the fuck is this? Cuckold? What the fuck is a cuckold? So you ain't never seen that shit? Alright, I seen that shit. And I was like, what the fuck is a cuckold? I Googled that shit. Put that shit right in Google. And Google will tell you what that motherfucker is. I ain't gonna tell you it. Google will tell you it. Now, if you goddamn can tell me that bread is not a cuckold, after you goddamn listen to that damn red table talk, he can say whatever the fuck he wanna say. You feel me? He can say whatever the fuck he wanna say. My dog is a good actor. Then we just had a fucking, then we just had a meme going who a better actor between him and Jamie Foxx. And a lot of motherfuckers said him. Jamie Foxx is a good ass actor, so if he a better actor than brother, you already know that he a good ass actor. So I don't want to hear none of that acting ass bullshit that he was doing up there. That nigga August said he had the permission. And I believe that nigga. I don't think he lied about that shit. He had the permission, bro. That nigga Will said, go ahead, do your thing. Hit my lady. I don't even care. <laughs> Matter of fact, matter of fact, they had a little joke on the Joe Budden podcast. Matter of fact, me. They had a little joke on that motherfucker when Will was like, yeah, I don't, I didn't have the girth. I didn't have the girth needed 
and I don't know if you know what girth is, but girth is usually what they what they use to what they use to describe the the width of a nigga dick. All right. So Brett said he ain't had a girth needed, and then she said, "Yeah, you just couldn't love me deep enough." They made their little jokes, but I don't give a fuck. I'm a strong motherfucking believer of goddamn a motherfucker that tell you what they talking about. Them motherfuckers basically just said, I already know, man. My dick ain't hitting how you want it to hit. Go ahead and do your thing. But damn, you just gonna get all <laughs> entangled with this nigga? <laughs> Hell no, that shit wild, bro. This nigga, I don't know, bro. I can't look at brother saying no more. The nigga type pussy. You feel me? The nigga type pussy. That's the only way I can see it. Like, how you... Cause look, even if y'all gonna... Even if y'all gonna give me the bullshit of... Y'all been knew they had a um open relationship. Fuck out of here. If we been knew they had an open relationship, right? And all this is supposed to be just common knowledge. Why the fuck it's only Jada having some shit going on? Like why we fuck we ain't got Will with some goddamn young army bitches doing this thing? Tell me. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's bullshit, and the shit had me triggered because, bruh, she just, she just got down in front of her face saying some old fuck-ass shit, and I'm sitting there, and I'm knowing me, and I'm knowing, like, damn, bruh, you know how many times, bruh, see, I don't even know if I can even say, man, fuck it, oh, well, you know how many times I would have damn near probably went to jail during that conversation, bruh, I would have reached over, what you mean we on a journey, bitch, what journey, your journey, bitch, ah, come on, come on. Like, what are you talking about? You feel me? Like, what are you saying to me in my face? <laughs> what, are you, what are you entangled? Oh, man, I would have, come on. But see, that's toxic, though. That's that's damn near just as toxic as she is. You know what I'm saying? Because basically, <clears throat> basically, what she did was, like, how a nigga have a, like, how a, a dude, a dude who, um I guess y'all call him a player or whatever the fuck, I hear him a little chick. And he'll be rocking out and say some shit like, damn, bro, you already know how that was. Like, me and her wasn't even really nothing. Like, it's me and you. Really, though. You know what I'm It's like that. But, like, she the, she, the, she the girl, though. She the female. Hit him with that. Nigga, he a cuck. Nigga, fuck out of here. That nigga probably was goddamn recording that shit. Saving that shit. Looking at that shit. Nigga ain't got no side bitches, man. Nigga talking about, I'm gonna get you back. That's not how you talk when you got side bitches. Like, the nigga who got side bitches ain't sitting down at a table and looking sad and then talking about something. Well, just know I'm gonna get you back. Fuck out of here, man. This nigga ain't no side bitches, man. This nigga was trying to work out his ma- <laughs> This nigga was trying to work out his marriage. And this nigga August. This nigga August came through and said, <laughs> But then. That's what, that's what I meant. I ain't want no camera flash. He probably tried to take pictures. August, I bet August got a few pictures. But nah. <laughs> Motherfucking um, Jada hit him with the ultimate yeet. Like, nah, nigga, you thought. I was just having fun for a little while, nigga. You thought. That's why I named the episode City Girls Up 10 Points. That was a damn, that was an OG City Girl move right there. That was an OG City Girl move on some shit like, nigga, you the young, hot, goddamn R&B nigga. I know you gonna make my nigga jealous. Nigga, you, you out here, all the bitches like you, all the young bitches like you and shit. I'ma fuck with you for a little bit, you feel me? And I know you want me, I'm Jada Pinkett and shit like that. So I'ma fuck with you and I'ma have your head all fucked up. But you know what I'm saying? This is Will Smith. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna fuck with him in the long run, so. My bad, young man. <laughs> damn, she played that shit like how when Future had done the um, home, made Scottie Pippen and his goddamn bitch break up. That's how that's how she played that shit. He's out here, boy. Damn, I done bumped the camera and all. I know that shit gonna look ugly. I know that shit gonna look ugly. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm scared to even go look. That shit gonna look ugly. Damn. All that work. I did all that work just to go ahead and kick this motherfucking shit. Getting too comfortable. That's good though. At least uncomfortable. Oh um, shit, goddamn. Kanye running for president, y'all boy. How y'all feel about that? How y'all feel about that? Somebody tell me something. Tell me something. You 
You played yourself. You thought I was finna say I was riding with that shit. I'm not riding with that shit, but this nigga's retarded. This nigga is retarded, bro. I'm just gonna let you know that. Very retarded. And if you for a half a second is behind this shit, you goddamn retarded too. Like, that's just facts, bro. The nigga retarded. Why would I vote for bruh? <laughs> I, I don't even know how that's a goddamn like topic, but it's on my shit because I seen it on there. Motherfuckers was really talking about it. And I seen motherfuckers like trying to actually have points for why this could be valid, like a thing. Like, man, fuck out of here, bruh. That shit sound retarded, bruh. I'm not even discussing that no further more. All I'm gonna tell you is, if you motherfucking wanna vote for Kanye, your ass is retarded, and you might as well just pause the video now and don't ever come back to another one, because yeah, retarded. And I don't think I'm supposed to be saying retarded no more. Bruh, my, my videos is never going nowhere, bruh. I'm not saying the right shit. Damn. But anyways, yeah, fuck that shit. That shit bullshit, bruh. Next topic. Um, Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke album. <laughs> 